it was a privilege to interact with Bridge International. We came into the education sector when there was a lot of confusion when the teacher went on the strike, which was the mother of all strikes. And so I got back to Zimbabwe. It was my first time, I'm first time member of parliament, and I thank God I've been nominated again by my party to come back. that were raised from other quarters. And so what I heard from them and what I've heard from other quarters was totally different. What I want to say is that every child has a potential. And thank you very much for coming in and nurturing our children. When I walked in, I went to the washroom and I found some young ladies, the girls. And I will tell you, they are different from other children. I wear this I want to say congratulations. We have, uh, trying very hard with my committee with the help of Ken and the team and Leah to actually bring some um, uh, some difference in the education sector. We have already done some recommendation on the curriculum. We have involved stakeholders and I hope you are part of these stakeholders and if you have not been involved, um, Ken have said you on our sunset in our parliament so two weeks to go we'll be going again back to the voters to seek for votes but I trust God that when I come back we will still be part of the team and we want to involve you in our education reforms that are happening in Kenya. Um, the current government, we have the Jubilee government when they came in, there was keen interest on digital literacy, which I've seen you are very keen on it. And uh, we have worked uh, journey, we have, it has been tough, and we have tried to work also with more higher uh, levels of education, the institutions, the universities, we've tried to partner with them. And I will say that what I've seen with the transformation that has been brought by digital literacy in Kenya, I can only ask Bridge to come in. We have already done some amendments, there's a new law coming in so that we have not only public and private schools, but we also want public, uh, a public private partnership where the government can actually partner with you and where we will not see you as a competitor or an enemy to the union, but we want to see you as a friend who has come in to actually help in transformation of our education sector in Kenya and also help our children. So for me, I can say, because I know Ken has spoken, that we you have a friend within the education committee, and if there are issues that you are facing, feel free to come talk to us, even when we are on recess, even when we are coming back to the, the tour of parliament, because I know myself and Ken, and we shall be back through God's grace. We want to shape the future of this nation. And if we ignore the group that is back there, this nation will never move forward. But when we nurture them, um, after a few years, we want to have other leaders coming in. And I would like to say for the children who will be coming to parliament, I wish they would come even when we are having a sitting in our committee. So they will come and see the committee sittings and also go and see the parliamentary proceedings. So I want to wish you well. I am open for consultation. I'm open to give a shoulder to lean on. I know when the unions come in, it's not easy. And I also understand there are also several, there are some cases, uh, the court cases that are, uh, are already going on. I don't want to go into that, but I would like to say that you have a shoulder to lean on. And as the education committee, we support the children. We say every child has a potential. We want to nurture our children. And if you come in, and I know you've already done that, to come and support our Kenyan education system, we are open and free to work with you. If not discriminate, we want to support you. We want the best for our children. So thank you very much. I don't want to say much. Enjoy your evening. And I hope I will also see what is remaining as of our presentations. I'm looking forward at least for one more presentation for me. Thank you very much. And we God bless you. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay, my name is Andrew White, and I am the Managing Director for Bridge in East Africa. And on behalf of the entire Bridge International Academies family, it is my pleasure to welcome all of you today to our inaugural Open House event. As Anthony, my colleague, has said, all protocol observed, honorable members of parliament, dignitaries, visitors, parents, pupils of Bridge, Thank you so much for coming today to this very special event. 
The purpose of this open house is for all of us to share and learn and understand about what Bridge International Academies in East Africa and in Kenya in particular does. For us to revive old friendships, for us to make new friendships. And ultimately, the purpose and mission of Bridge in Kenya is to provide a high quality, affordable education to all. And what that means is that every child, whether they're born in Mukuru in Nairobi, in Kangani, whether they're born in Masabit, Darissa, or Western Kenya, should be able to access high quality nursery and primary education so that they can have the foundation required to succeed in life. That is why Bridge started in Kenya almost 10 years ago, and that is why we are still here today. And whilst in those 10 years, we have achieved a lot, we have educated over 100,000 Kenyan children, we have almost 400 schools in 44 counties across Kenya, there is still so much work to do. There are still so many challenges that we have to overcome. And we will only achieve that through partnership, through collaboration, and through working together. We know that the challenges facing education in Kenya are such that all of us have a role to play. That we alone cannot solve this, that we alone do not have the answers. And so the reason for this inaugural open house, and it will be the first, but it will not be the last, is to make sure that everyone who has that desire, that mission, that drive to provide high quality education can come together as a team, can come together collectively to make sure that we can achieve it and we can make sure that every child in Kenya, irrespective of where they are born, irrespective of the challenges their parents and their family face, can achieve and can excel. And so I can already see very many hungry faces in front of me. So with those very few words, I'm actually going to allow, rather than just hear from me, I want everyone in this room to hear from a bridge graduate. We've been here for 10 years, and we have sat KCP for two years, last year and the year before. And our pupils who have sat KCP, over 3,000 of them, have excelled. We have many people scoring over 400. We have many people going to national schools. And even we have children that have excelled above and beyond anyone's expectations that they have gone for full scholarships to secondary schools outside of Kenya as well. And so rather than just hear from myself, it's much better that we see and hear from a bridge graduate. And so while she's not here in person, she's in America, we have the next best thing, which will be a video to play of Josephine. Josephine is one of our graduates from Ongai. For those of us that know, just outside of Nairobi. And so, with those few words, thank you once again, everyone, for making time to come and spend with us and the Bridge International Academy's family in Kenya. And I will now pass over to Josephine. Thank you. We live in Ongata, Ongai, and my brother and I went to Bridge International Academy. I am a proud Bridge Vivio. The best part about going to Bridge was that gave me the best experience of my life, and I had so much fun in that Bridge. The teachers at Bridge are really nice. They're not just teachers, they're also your friends. Whenever you ask a question, you'll get answered, you'll able to understand that they take care of your own kids. Mpo, I am so proud of you. The talent I saw here from Taekwondo, from verse speaking, from traditional dance, from verse Kizo dance. You showed me some moves. I'm very impressed with people of Kibrawe. And I uh, hope it will help me win a few more votes. I was very inspired to see two fingers in the air, Gumi on the side. And I, I'm feeling very inspired by the young people of Bridge. Keep up your talents. You can go very far. And uh, one of my friends this week told me, if you want your child to be a pilot, make sure they have seen the inside of a cockpit sooner than later. If you want your child to be a surgeon, make sure they've gone to a hospital and seen the work of surgeons. And I think if you want your children to be leaders, senators, speakers of the National Assembly,
please bring them to Parliament. We will host them happy. So we need quality leaders. I think Chris is a stranger. And I encourage uh, Jackie and the team, uh, please organize. I, I'll be remiss if I don't read the letter that I was written by my new girlfriend called Joki. And Joki goes to bridge. She said, Dear Moeshi, you are Ken. I just wanted to say congratulations. That's a very long one and she spelled it correctly. Joki, where is Joki? Is Joki here? How much is in which school? Joki, Akwapi? The one who wrote me this. Congratulations on the win and good luck with the elections. And may you please help me arrange a trip to Parliament with my classmates. Thank you and good luck. I think on behalf of myself and my friends, Honorable Zilega and Honorable Sabina, we will be happy to host you in Parliament. We have two more weeks and we are campaigning. So if you want to come to Parliament, you better come very soon. And uh, I'll be remiss not to mention that Leah is here. She's one of the colleagues in Parliament that helps the MPs to get their work done. And, uh, so I'm sure facilitating a trip to Parliament is not a difficult thing for us. Please come, visit the Senate, visit the National Assembly, and uh, in another 10 or 15 years, we want to see you as uh, the leaders of this country. So with those few remarks, God bless you. God bless Kenya. God bless our children. And may they all succeed beyond their wildest dream and be empowered with the best quality education we can provide.